just not going to work. So it's feeling a million dollars in your dress, feeling comfortable, taking your shape into consideration, and I think once that dress is on you, you'll know it's right. Yeah, and I think you're right. I think the thing about shape is sometimes, sometimes you might have this idea, so it might be an illusion in your head. Again, I mean, I know myself that I'm stuck in the kind of shapes, but going for something different, challenging yourself again, try on a lot of dresses. Absolutely, and it's shopping, it's not shopping around, but it's about being comfortable with the people you're buying your dress off as well. Like, personally, I'm not an online buyer. Yeah. Um, I, I think taking the chance of buying online is mad. That's my own personal opinion on it. When you have got the experts that are there, they know what they're Go doing. Try they're not going to sell something for the sake of selling it because they want to get rid of the dress. They're there to advise you on the best advice they can give for your shape, your height, your clothes size. I think that's so important for me. At least you know you have that comfort. If something is not working right or needs to be tailored slightly, you're with the experts. You know what I think a really important thing is when it comes to wedding photographs is that they're the thing, they're the memories that are going to be li literally etched in paper in your album forever. How to pose, Wendy? And I know this sounds like you might think, oh God, I hate posing because number one, it's arrogant or it's this or that. Is it so important to stand properly and sit properly on your wedding day? Absolutely. And it's the one time you want your photograph to be absolutely yeah. amazing. And the few things you probably do need to keep an eye out for. If um, you ever are facing head on in front of the camera, you will always, you'll automatically will look wider, no matter what size you are, that's just the way it is. So always stand slightly to the side. So when you're facing head on, you always want to look yeah. wider. If you stand slightly to the yeah. side, it gives you shape. So that's the one thing you always do is make, make sure you automatically stand to the side. The other thing is, is that always be careful of every one of us has a good and a bad side. And that's, that's where the selfies are fabulous. Because they'll always tell you, you I, I'm sure that you're all young brides, so I mean, you definitely will know which is a good side and a bad side. So you're inclined to photograph yourself always with the better side. And it's the same when it comes to photographs. It's important to know your good and bad sides, because some people may have prominent noses, others may have double chins, others may have big ears, and it's how to be able to be cute on how to photograph. And I, no matter how good looking a person you are, we all have that little thing that you want, don't want to show up. So it's important to be able to watch things by making sure you turn slightly to the camera, watching your angles, very important. Should you look in the mirror literally and pose for yourself? Absolutely. Don't be embarrassed. Absolutely. And that's, listen, that's exactly what we teach our models to do. Yeah. Very same thing, we tell them to fall in love with the mirror. That's so, it's so important because there they pick up the, side, the way they want to look, what suits them, what doesn't work. So 